I started by drawing a three foot circle, making sure that all of my appliances were going to fit. I think I could get another thing on there. I'm just not sure what it would be. So I decided to go eight sided. This will make um, putting sheeting around the outside easier than if I'm trying to make it curved. You can, of course, just go with a circle. What you do is you find the center, uh, drop a screw or something, tie a string to your pencil, and that's an easy way to make a circle. So, to do eight-sided, um, there's several ways to do it, but it uh, looks like the way to get the most out of the material. This is going to be a side, and then this is going to be a side. You can see I was drew a whole bunch of different things. Basically how I found it was I 18 inches is the radius of my circle here. So I went here, marked 18 inches, and then got a 45 degree angle and marked it. And of course, besides that, you need to know that it's 18 inches and then 3 feet, 18 inches, 3 feet, So I wanted my table height to be about 34 inches, so I'm going to start deducting for my wheels. By the way, I got five wheels. I'm just going to try to make them be equal from each other. So that's about 21 inches. It's about 21 inches. So I've got about five inches here between the two pieces of wood and this. So 34 minus 5 means my boards, my structural pieces should be around 29 inches. Well, remember earlier that we used this 45 degree angle to cut this. Well, if we employ the same thing here and we get a 45 degree angle marked on here, you can see that we could use it for our structure and it would be able to support two planes here. That way it'll be easy to screw the sh sheeting on the sides and so we'll use a trusty table saw here. So, I have three quarter inch plywood to go around the edge of this. Um, if you have thinner stuff for the sides, that's fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and come in three quarters of an inch. So, this will serve as a guide to kind of help me line up these boards when I screw them in. Done, you can flip it over. We can finish these screws off. pretty sturdy just like this. I think if you didn't really want to, you don't really have to put 
plywood on the on the outside, but it will strengthen it up quite significantly to put something out here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stain on the top and then bolt everything down before I do the sides. here. Now this angle on the sheet is 22 and a half and I have it lined up here. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark where I want it here. I'm going to go cut it. I actually don't have Table size and big enough to be able to use the rip fence, so just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> 